Rue 21 Black Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Rue 21 Black. One of my friends named Jake wrote me up about colognes and he said this is pretty much the only cologne he uses and he gets good compliments with it and I hadn't really smelled it before. I knew Rue 21s were pretty affordable so I decided to pull the trigger and he also said he was interested in maybe, you know, trying some more expensive fragrances out so he didn't really know where to start so I was kind of interested to see, all right, what does this fragrance smell like and then kind of like what would I recommend is a little bit of a step up from this. To me what this smells like is just a real light citrus musk with a little bit of a black twist. It is called Black Polo Black. Also has a little bit of that black vibe. It's a little bit darker. It's a beauty. I can't really put my finger on what it is. It's a very light citrusy musk, but it also is a little bit different because I haven't really smelled a light citrusy musk with kind of like a little bit of a black twist. The only notes they had online were mandarin orange, Amalfi lemon and musk, so very, very simple. I do think that there is a few more things in this fragrance, but I just think that those are the main things that you pick up on and that's what people you know, smelled in this fragrance. Let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is very, very easy to wear. Uh, I know my friend's style, this is kind of perfect for him. I don't really see him wearing anything too out there, too bold, too like, attention grabbing, but also something that's masculine, something that nobody's gonna really hate on, and that's kind of what you have here. It's very easy to wear. Uh, it's very hard to say anything bad about it if you were to smell it on somebody versus, you know, you smell something really in your face that you could smell 15 feet away fruity. That's kind of a little closer to where, you know, you wanna say something or maybe make a joke. This one's just reserved. It's very, very easy to wear. Uh, it's very inoffensive as well, and it's masculine and it's safe. It kind of does the, you know, everything in one. It's safe, it smells good, and it's a tiny, tiny bit different. Those are the pros for me. Again, I kind of have to search to find a little bit of cons. This fragrance really doesn't smell that bad, but it also is not the hardest to recreate. You know, a lot of fragrances have 10 notes, 12 notes, 15 notes, and they're kind of blended in a certain way. This one's just very simple, but also, you know, doesn't smell bad. It's just very, very simple. So if this fragrance were to be perfect, it would be a little bit more complex than this, but that's kind of nitpicking because I still do like it. And then the other con is that it has slightly below average projection, but that's kind of what you get with a lot of fresh fragrances. Same with this one. It's inoffensive and it's safe. Projection is really good. We like projection. We like to spray something and smell it a long time later, but I've actually, you know, showed a lot of fragrances to people a lot of fragrances to girls. They actually like masculine fragrances that aren't really, really, really strong. They like them to be a little bit subtle. Just putting that out there. If I were to give this a smell rating, I'd give this a 7.5. It's really solid. It has an element to it that I can't really pin down. I feel like there is a few more notes in here, but overall, very solid. Don't have anything bad to say about it. Likeability, 8.5 to a 9. This one is just, like I said, hard to hate on hard for anybody to say anything bad about. It's just overall, it's likability is definitely its strength. So for longevity, I'd probably give this like a 5.5 to a six. When you're considering all fragrances, even fragrances that last on your clothes for like seven to 10 days. So this isn't really fair to compare those to it. I have to have one single rating for the projection of longevity of the fragrance. So I'm gonna give this a 5.5 to a six. It's noticeable, but like I said, it doesn't really hurt this fragrance that much because I like how safe it is and I like how easy to wear it is. And with that projection being a little bit milder, it just definitely helps that. To be honest, there's really not one that's specifically like this exact feel, but better. I just have a few other citrusy light fragrances that I like that maybe you, if you kind of want a more of a different feel, you go towards those directions. The first one that I could think of that's pretty cheap is Versace Pour Homme. Now, although it's Versace, it used to be very cheap. I don't know if it is now, but Versace Pour Homme is a little bit more fresh. It's definitely has a lot stronger projection in the opening, but it's very similar to this one. It just has a little bit more going on, but it's very, very simple. I would definitely check out Versace Pour Homme. Or of course, you know, any of the Creed Aventus style clones. Creed Aventus is like a 
$300 fragrance, $400 fragrance, but there's a million um, copies of it. It is very easy to copy. So those are the two that I think of as if I was trying to find a fragrance better than this. Versace Pour Homme and then an Aventus clone. But anyways, guys, that's been my review on Rue Black. It was actually pretty nice. Um, when I first got into this fragrance, I was kind of surprised that there wasn't a direct fragrance that smells like this, but just does it better. It's a general citrusy fresh fragrance, and we had so many of those. And so many of them smell like exactly the same or very similar, so I was surprised that for me, there wasn't one that was exactly the same as this, although if you go into light citrusy fragrances, there's a million. That's probably one of the most made men's style fragrances is that fresh citrusy scent. But anyways, guys, that's been my review of Rue Black. Let me know what you think of the whole Rue 21 line. Should I review something else from Rue? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you